In this video, I'm going to go through how I will create a chatbot in Java. I think by now, if you go to any product website, on the lower right, you're going to see this icon, either of a robot or something that looks similar to this, where if you click on it, you, know, you come up with this chat window that you can speak with a virtual assistant or some live person. And then in this video, we're going to go ahead and see if we can create something like this in Java. I already started a project called Chatbot and I already imported some libraries which is the Logbot Classic and the Timeleaf template engine which are also imports the Jetty servers and as well as Spark Core to help us uh, handle requests. So I already started the project and I already created a route to the front page which is handled by this route slash and right now it just returns hello world. So you can see here that I'm going to this port 4567, which is running the Jetty server. The Jetty server is listening on this port, and that's why we can actually navigate to it. And if we go to this web page, it actually calls this route slash, and then it returns this string, hello world. So let's start by creating our front page. In this project, we're going to be using a, a bootstrap as well as jQuery to help with, with creating this project. So I'm going to go to this bootstrap website and click on the get started and then here they will give you a starting template and right, so I'm just going to copy that and paste that into my project so here in my templates I am going to create an HTML file I'll call this index the HTML and then replace this with that bootstrap template and in here I'm going to return So let's recompile this and see if this works the way we expect. So yes, it does. So what is happening here is that we are creating a, a template called index.html. And then in this index.html, we actually have the standard bootstrap template, which says hello world here. And then from our main program, we are just uh, calling this time leaf template engine and to render this template using this model for data right since we're not passing any data into the model it just serves up the html straight okay so and now let's um, enhance this html to have a box on the bottom because it normally on other websites this uh, button that invokes the uh, ch chatbot is actually on the lower right so let's go ahead and create something like that so i want to create a button that is on the lower right Let's just create a button first. So, okay, so I'm going to create a button and then I'm just going to Okay, and then see how that goes. Okay, reload it. So here I have this button called start chat. So now I want to move this to the lower right. And the way that I do that is by repositioning this with some CSS. Okay, so now I just reposition this button on the lower right. And what I'm doing is I'm using this uh, CSS position fix and then relative to the bottom and the right, 10 pixels. So that's how I'm going to get it to stick on the bottom right. Okay, and then now I want to use some jQuery to be able to pop up a uh, dialog. So let's do that. So let me just... So I'm going to make this a certain size. Mm, to make it 350 pixels by 480 pixels height wise. And I may want to have a border so I know the boundaries of this box. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to create an iframe with the dimensions of 350 pixels by 480 pixels and with the almost black border so we know where that iframe is. Okay, so we have it here and right now you're not going to be able to load the page because we haven't defined any routes to handle this URL called on slash chat. Okay, and then we want to be able to position this right above that start chat. So let's go ahead and do that. 
And I'm going to do the same thing with this. That, right? So I want to overlap this button. And so you can see it's here, right? And then now if we want to overlap the button, we want to put this iframe below where we declare the button. It will be showing on top of the button. And then finally, when we start the chat, we want to get rid of this button. Right? So the way that we do that is in the beginning to not show this uh, iframe. So we're going to say display none. Okay. And then, okay, we're going to have this button. We need an ID so we can actually create a handler on it. So let's say, okay. And then now we need some JavaScript. So what this is doing is I'm just creating a function that runs after the jQuery loads. I'm going to now add a handler for the click event to this. So what happens is when I click on this start chat button, I want the button to disappear and then I want the iframe to appear. Right, so now I need to, okay, so it'll be a chat frame and then start. There we go. Now, what I want to do is I want to, I want to hide the button and then I want to then show the, okay, so let's see. So now if I click on this button, that iframe will pop up and then the start chat will disappear. So what we have done at this point is to have a button that makes this frame appear. Right, and the way that we do that is by using this JavaScript handler. So basically add a click event handler on this button. And then once that button is clicked, we hide the button and then we show the frame using this jQuery syntax. Okay, so now that we have the frame, let's go ahead and start to add to this frame. So the way that we do that is by looking at this code. So this frame is looking at a slash chat uh, route, right? So we need to add that to our project. And then we can return some literal strings. We can say, hello, I am a chatbot. Okay, so let's restart this project. And then let's reload this. And then now if we start this, we should see that it actually says what we want to say, hello, I'm a chatbot. That's returned from server code to handle this route slash chat. Okay, so that is really how we're gonna create the uh, framework for this chatbot. So we basically, to recap, we have a web page that has a button and then when you click on the button it brings up a iframe that calls the slash chat uh, request right and that is being handled by this uh, route for slash chat so then now what we have to do is to make this program interactive you know, the way that we see if from say Verizon now if you click on this it starts to uh, have a conversation with the user and we're going to do the same thing here right basically by offering some links that a user can click on that is within the context of that website. So in this case, Verizon is a support website. So you basically have options that goes to your account or offer some help with uh, say devices or how to activate a device or how to make calls from a phone. It's really specific to the actual website that you are coding for. But in this case, I'm just going to create a fun chatbot, something that you can use to just kill time with. So this concludes the first part of the series in how to build a chatbot. In the first part, we basically created the foundation UI that we're going to use to interact with the user. In the next part of the series, we're going to create the actual interaction with the user. So if you want to see that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you get notified of when that is going to come out. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will see you in the next video.